morning, everybody. Sitting here at the door, ready and waiting for it to open, and I can get loaded. I'm loading up a whole bunch of steel in here today. I'm going to be getting loaded shortly, and then I've got five drops in southern Manitoba. Right now, I'm in Headingley, Manitoba, just west of Winnipeg, the capital of the province. From here, I head down south. I've got a drop in Morton, Manitoba, two in Winkler, one in Plum Coulee, and one in, I believe it's a town called Sperling. Or is it Sterling? I still haven't figured that out. Let's figure that out right now together. I was trying to figure that out yesterday. I have it in my computer right here. It's Sperling with a P. Ah, it is settled. Who won that bet? Sperling, Manitoba is our last drop. And then uh, that's it for the day. We'll see what they have for us tomorrow. We're just staying local. We're trying to keep ourselves busy because today when I'm filming this is Independence Day in the United States. You're watching this quite a few days after. So happy belated Independence Day to my good friends south of the border here from Canada. I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday. That it was everything you hoped it would be. That you barbecued, that you blew up some fireworks. That you had a great time. Maybe you went fishing, maybe you, yeah, whatever you did. Let me know down below in the comments section. So I slept right here at the customer in their driveway. I uh, gotta be inside there at seven. It is now 10 to seven in the morning. We're here in central time zone in North America. And I believe I'm gonna need a hard hat in there. This hat is not hard enough. shoes on let's go inside let's check in let them know we're here right outside the door so that they can get loaded get loading us as soon as possible got a lot to do today Morden Manitoba city of discovery according to their sign this is a really nice town this is one of the nicest towns in Manitoba got to go in so we're coming in from the west side pardon me I always get that backwards we're coming in from the east side headed west we're going to the west side it's not that big of a town just take us a minute or two to get through it looks like my drop that I was supposed to have in Plum Coulee didn't make it on my truck I guess that one maybe got canceled got to make a left turn up ahead but I think I'm gonna wait till after these lights because there's people making a left turn here yeah I've just got one drop here in Morden two in Winkler and one in Sperling so four drops on my truck today and I think we're going back for another one of these loads tomorrow that hasn't been confirmed to me yet though on the west side of town a little further west than what we're going Morton has a pretty awesome Harley Davidson dealership. If you're into Harleys and you're ever in southern Manitoba, just swing in there. It's pretty awesome. I made a video about it actually. Well, a year or two ago, probably two years ago, me and my buddy Will were out here on our bikes. They gave us a little tour of all the antique bikes they have in the back too. That was fun. I forget what that vlog is called, but it was probably from, I'm thinking 2022 summer of 2022 I think maybe 21 it'll be my playlist there's the I know the thumbnail is of uh, a motorcycle one kilometer turn left on Mountain Street North Highway 432 so it'll probably be pretty easy to find in my home time vlog playlist because there's less videos to go through in there just look for a video with a motorcycle on the highway or something
from there head back up to Headingley, Manitoba. Sleep there again overnight. We're gonna do uh, another load from the same place in the morning. And that'll take up our day tomorrow and then we go home for the weekend. We've gotta bring our uh, terrain, our family SUV. We gotta bring it in to uh, get looked at by the shop. Our all wheel drive and traction controls on the Fritz. Looks like a sensor went or something. We gotta take it to get it looked at. That's our Saturday project. I think that's the guy who's gonna be unloading me. I'm not sure where he wants me to be. Okay, he's waving me to follow him. all dirty from today so hard to keep a truck clean oh he's waiting for me over there around the corner all right so we're gonna get this trailer emptied and I'll talk to you after that our day is pretty much over now so that's good just the drive back it was a good day I'm gonna like this local stuff it's a nice break And we're empty. All I gotta do now is close this thing up and we're done for the day. Well, I've still gotta drive back and take a shower. Other than that, we're done for the day. And I'm gonna go sleep in Headingley so I'm ready first thing tomorrow morning again. Then tomorrow we'll go home when we're done. roll up these straps and get out of here. Don't want to leave those here. Got a few bugs on my route today, but it looks like we're driving into a rainstorm, so those should be gone soon. I won't even bother stopping to wipe them off. There's a severe thunderstorm warning for the area. Again, lots of rain this spring. Hopefully not too much for the farmers. At least it's better than no rain, right? So I'm coming up to Old Bluff up ahead here. Look familiar? It's exactly where we were last night. Worked out perfect. So they get here at 7 a.m. I pull up to the door there at 6.30 a.m. to make sure I'm numero uno. And then I get loaded. I got out of here at about 9 o'clock a.m. this morning. So from the time I got loaded, or pardon me, from the time I got in there to the time I got loaded and leaving was about two hours. And that's not too bad considering. So 6.30, rolled up to the door this morning. 7 o'clock, they opened the door there, I walked into shipping. I had to sit there till about 7.15 uh, for them to uh, get get in, because that's when they get here, right? So about 7.10, 7.15, they came and they handed me my paperwork, opened the door for me, let me roll in. I opened up the Conestoga covered wagon, opened that up for them, and then, uh, yeah, they slowly loaded me up with steel. And uh, I was rolling out of here at about 9 a.m. So I'm assuming it'll be very similar tomorrow. Today I had four drops. I had one in Morden, two in Winkler, and one in Sperling. And tomorrow I have three drops. So that Plum Coulee drop that I thought would be on yesterday's... The, the, 
the, the message in my truck must have been mixed up because Plum Coolie's apparently now going to be loaded on my truck tomorrow. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But uh, according to my message on my computer, tomorrow morning I have a town called Arnaud, Manitoba, uh, Altona, Manitoba, and Plum Coulee, Manitoba. Just three drops. And if that's it, I mean, we'll bang those off early in the day, probably before three o'clock. Be back at our yard, sort of, you know, clocking out around, oh, bef well before supper. I'll probably be at home, showered, sitting at the dinner table for six o'clock, I'm thinking. We'll see what happens. That's what I'm hoping for anyways, but you never know. It's trucking. You literally never know. It could take half the time you think it will, or it could take three times as long. It usually takes longer than you think it will. That's, that's the normal. So if you think it'll take about eight hours to get something done, you can expect it to probably take 12. <laughs> Can you hear all the crickets and frogs and whatnot? It's a prairie summer night here in Manitoba, Canada. It's beautiful, isn't it? That sounds like home to me. I love this place, you know? We only get about two weeks. Two months. I'm just joking around. We usually get about two months of really hot weather because uh, we can't get rid of the sun. The sun just doesn't go away in the summertime. Don't mind this guy. He's following me around everywhere, Mr. Long Legs. <laughs> oh, Slender Man following me around everywhere. Like I was, I was saying, we have about two months of really good weather, and we're right in those two months right now. So I can be outside in the middle of the night in a t-shirt here. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much sweating. It's hot. In Fahrenheit, it gets well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit here in the summertime. Like I said, we can't get rid of the sun. It just doesn't go away. Except for right now. Where is it? It's cloudy, but if it wasn't cloudy, you'd see that sky in the north would still be bright. There we sit, there we wait. So if anybody else comes into this driveway over here in the morning or at night, I think that's pretty obvious that I'm in line, right? And I didn't want to block the driveway because it goes around there. So just in case somebody has to like go in here, go around and then back into that dock over there or something. I wanted to leave the driveway open. But if people want to be sneaky, if they want to be a little dirty, they could see me parked here and just sneak right past me and line up at the door, right? Of course, I don't put up with that. I would get out of my truck and go and remind them, hey bud, I'm in line, but some people care, some people don't. So I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious that I'm in line here. What do you think? That's where the line starts. You line up behind moi. All goofiness aside, I had a really good day. I hope you did too. Please, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. It does help me out a lot. I hate asking that every vlog, but you know, every YouTuber sort of has to remind everybody because I'm the same way. I watch a YouTube video and I totally forget to go down there and hit the like button unless if the creator I'm watching reminds me. So that's why I do it every day. Just go down below, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. It's totally free and it's very minimal effort. If you want to give a little bit more effort, you can go down a little further, leave me a comment. You know, you want a little bit more effort, go and reply to a couple of comments down below. Be nice, those are all my friends down there. Make some friends yourself. We're all family here, we're all friends. Go and start a conversation down there. Just be respectful to other people, that's all I ask. So you can hit the thumbs up button, you can leave me a comment, and uh, you know, if you want to take it one step further, you want to take this to the next level, you really like my videos and you want to support them, you can always click the join now button below each video or on my main page of my channel. And it's like the cup of uh, a price of a cup of Starbucks every every month and you get early access to all my videos anywhere from a day early to a week early. Sometimes you also get uh, special access to some uh, shorts or reels that I post for you guys. And, bunch of other things as well. Your comments also go to a different folder for me, so I, I get to see them first. And they're sort of separated on my end from 
uh, from all the other comments, but either way, don't worry. I do go through all of the comments. I do read them all. I see your comments when you're like, he doesn't read the comments. I'm reading them. I just, I got a lot to do every day and I don't have time to respond to them all. So I apologize. I'm not ignoring you, but I'm there. So thanks everybody for watching. Keep it safe out there. Drive safe. It could be me behind the wheel of one of these units. It could be one of my friends or it could be someone else. We just want to get home to our families. Please leave a little bit earlier. Take your time. Don't cut us off. And let's all be respectful to each other on the road. Let's remember. I'm trying to get home to my family. You're trying to get home to your family. There's no reason to be risky or dangerous on the road. Just let's all keep our cool. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Forgot to say, subscribe. There's so much for you to do. I know I'm giving you lots of homework. Like button, comment, join as a member, and subscribe. Four things. Homework for you.